I positively feel like a new woman. How do you like it? Like it? Honey, I just hope you get home safely. <laughs> Almost 5,000. Mm, good. Bree, see they close the front door tight, will you? understand? No noise. Leave you here, see? You'll have to turn you in, but don't worry. I'll pull strings and get you off. Golly! Listen. You don't say anything, see? Just this. The guy that was with you on the job is the same guy that owns the truck. <coughs> Steve Ryan. Steve Ryan, you understand? Now you stick to that. If you don't, I'll get to you. Yeah, thank you. I'll stick to Thank you. Get back here. That's all, eh? Just the way it happened. Yeah. 
Okay, now about the laundry truck. What color was it? Gray. And the two guys, one was dark, the other had sandy hair, you well, said. Oh, no, right. No, no, they, they both had dark hair. How do you know? Well, I ought to know. I was there. Out like a fish most of the time. Which one had sandy hair? The one who shot the cop. And you say? They both had black hair, both dark. Seems you were a little upset. You're sure one of them had sandy hair? What do you think I do for a living, Captain? Every day of my life. First thing I do is look at a person's hair. The one who shot the cop had sandy hair. Mickey, will you? OK, mind reader. Ready, Robert. And you didn't know either one of them? Nobody you'd ever seen before? Oh, golly, well, no. Margie, are you still on? You got some more dope on that O'Hara thing. The truck was gray. One of the men had sandy hair. Broadcast all cars. Car 15, car 15, at the doctor's home, 771 Ellenwood, a gunshot suspect. You remember anything else? No. Well, if that's all then, Captain. Uh, not quite. Everybody in town seems to think betting on the bang tails is good, clean fun, except us. We got a different viewpoint because we've read about a city ordinance that says no to that sort of entertainment. Jim, take these ladies down to Bunko, Sergeant Keating. I suppose you think iron bars can hold me. They worked out pretty good so far. All cars additional on the beauty shop robbery. The truck was gray. One of the suspects has sandy hair, that is all. All right, Mickey, it's your baby now. I've got some extradition stuff to work out. You know, there may be something in this. The regulation Navy scarf, initials and all. Pick him up in any surplus store. There were three million guys in the Navy, including me. Still was a pretty good Navy. Shotgun. Do a lot of damage with a thing like this. That's an FBI matter, isn't it? O'Hara. We were rookies in the old 9th Precinct. Yeah. Yeah, he broke me in, down on the waterfront. Had a heart as big as a house. Could be FBI, but O'Hara was one of us. You're not kidding. Take this stuff down to the lab. Get a receipt for it. Chubb, you better work with him. And check that gunshot call. There may be something in it. Oh, Ferguson. I don't have to tell you to plug hard on this. No, Mac. You don't have to tell me that. It's too bad. Yes, sir? It's too bad. You had a nice trade worked up, a good spot. Thing like a holdup ruins it. I hate to lose it. Yes, I hate to lose it. <sighs> Women should be struck regularly like gongs. <laughs> That's from Oscar Wilde, Wilma. Give it back to him. OK, Calhoun, here it is. You're out on bail. I'll fix the gambling rap. That's a cinch. But you're going to be uh, a witness at a murder trial. I don't want any publicity. If they cross-examine you about your place, it's your own. You're an independent operator. You never heard of Jacqueline Ainsworth. I can't afford to have my other spots jeopardized. And the club here, I worked hard to get this set up. OK, Jacqueline. But in the meantime, what happens to me? Take a rest, baby. You're, you're sort of warm right now, anyway. <laughs> I'll be looking for a new spot for you. What's your side of this? Like every night, I'm coming along to collect the take. I see a lot of cops around on prowl cars. I figure it's just after the holdup, so I keep on going. Good. You did right. Duke, going to take me home? Sure. See you later, boss. Jack Glenn ain't so smart. He never takes any raps. Give him time. He's crowding his luck. Hey, look, until we're out of this jam, I want you to lay off the bottle. You're going to have to use your head. I've got sense enough to know that. You better have. Police calls were OK. Came in one was sandy haired. Remind me to give you an ounce of that for your birthday. Marie the 
dope said they were both black haired. Hmm? Oh, don't worry. I beat her down. The cops believe me. Marie, huh? Her second mistake for tonight. Screaming in that cop pokes his big nose in. Should have been an easy heist. Ainsworth didn't know a thing. Could have knocked off several of his joints. Oh, Duke, I didn't think it'd be like this. I didn't think anybody'd get killed. I didn't plan it this way either. And that Kowalski kid. Should have plugged him. He got soft, figured he'd go any minute. Somebody found him and called a doc. Well, he better stick to his story about that friend of his he's trying to frame. Uh-uh. Do, Connie. I'm holding on to your share for a while, too. Don't you trust me? I like you, if that's what you mean. Uh-uh. That's the house. That's where Steve Ryan lives. And then right at the end of the picture, the cops got him. Gee, I felt sorry for him. Good picture, huh? Yeah, I cried and everything. But they had no right to do that. Just because they had the law on their side. Well, maybe some guys need it going over. Good evening. Oh, I thought the Ryans still lived here. They still do. You're not Rosie, are you? <laughs> I never thought she'd turn out to be so... Well, I... Do you remember me? The moment I opened the door. Thought you were a cop. I am. We're detective now. Who is it? Mickey Ferguson. You used to live up in the next block. Homicide squad. Very pretty, but I'm not interested. It's just procedure. Procedure? Steve here? Steve? If you don't mind, I'll just step inside. Come in. Join the family. Thanks, I will. Hello, Steve. Hello, Mickey. Hello, Ms. Rand. Mickey? It's been a long time. Yeah, a long time. I'm uh, here on a little business, Steve. Raise your arms. the guy? Yeah. What's this all about? What'd you do tonight, Steve? Worked in my shop out in the garage. From when to when? After I got through work. About seven till after nine. When did you leave work? Well, I was late. Had trouble with the truck. Then I parked it behind the laundry a little after six, just like always. I walked home, worked in my shop. That's all. What's the deal? Were you here tonight when he was in the shop? We were at the show. Did you ever see this before? Oh, yeah, it's my navy scarf. I stenciled that myself. Here's where the paint ran under the stencil. Where'd you get it? I always kept it in the truck. Good actor, ain't he? Hey, what's the score? You better get your coat on, Steve. We've got a little running around to do. I'd like to know what this is all about. It's about a policeman who was killed tonight in a holdup. Wait a minute. The guy who shot him used this scarf as a mask. Come on, let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's go, Bob. Take it easy, Chuck. Take your hands off him. Sorry, sister. I'm the impulsive type. Steve didn't do it. I know he didn't. He couldn't have done it. Well, if he didn't, we'll find it out, Rosie. And if he did, we'll find that out, but too. But he was right here in his shop. He told you so. You didn't see him. Neither did your mother. Who did? I don't know, but I'll find out. OK. You had nothing to do with this, Steve. I know you didn't. Sure, Mom. Somebody's all fouled up. Don't you worry. I'll be back soon. I wouldn't wait up for him if I were you. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosie. Mrs. Ryan. Good night. Oh, Rosa. It's gonna be all right, Mom. Hi, Sarge. Hello, Bernsey. How you doing? Oh, lots of latents, but they're all blurred. Is this the other one? Is this your truck? It's the one I drive, yeah. Is it okay to open the door? Yeah, go ahead. I'm through with it.
Your buddy sure bled a lot. My buddy? Yeah, innocent. I thought you guys had a code and stuck by each other when you got into trouble. And here you let your pal bleed to death while you make a getaway. I don't know what you're talking about. Where'd you get my truck? Where you left it. In front of the doctor's house. But I left it in the alley behind the laundry. Sure, we know. Where's the gun, Steve? What gun? The gun you shot O'Hara with. What did you do with it? I didn't have anything to do with this. He's right. Why don't you just give us your word and we'll let you go home? How soon can I get those prints, Bernsey? Gonna work on it all night, Sarge. Anything for a homicide. I thought that's the way you felt about it. Come on. Oh, those monkeys are all alike. The minute they're caught, they go yellow. The more I see them, the more I like my dog. At least he's got integrity. Conclusive, you know. Not too reliable, this paraffin test. Oh, if you pick up a suspect right away after he's fired a gun, before he has a chance to wash his hands, sometimes you get traces of powder and soot. But then it's only confirmatory. I see. Just something to hang a few questions on, huh? Yeah, bleed more or less. Hold your hand loosely. Relax. Take a look. I don't see a thing. That's right. Nothing to see. I told you it wasn't too reliable. He could have washed his hands. He would have anyway. Probably got blood on his hand when he pushed his pal out. Well, you're crazy. I didn't have anything to do with this. Same old story. Nobody's ever guilty. Have your suspect wait outside, Ferguson. I've got a couple of things to show you. Take him out, will you, Chubb? Bullet that killed O'Hara. Common type, 38 Special, fired from a Dixon revolver. Probably a very short barrel gun, belly gun. Fairly new, good shape. Well, it's a common type cartridge. Every cop in town and a lot of other people use them. That isn't all. Sniff that. Well? Perfume. Right. Absolutely. Fastidious, huh? Maybe a woman carries a gun for him until he's ready to use it. Oh, could be. Well, anyway, don't lose it, Doc. It may be just the thing we need. There's a lot of nice people running around loose, huh, Doc? Yep, Mickey. You know, there are only two kinds of animals that make war on their own kind. Rats and men. And men are supposed to be able to think. I think you've got something there, Doc. How bad is he, Doc? I don't think he's gonna make it. His lower jaw is shattered. The bullet was deflected upward and lodged at the base of his brain. Couldn't get it out, huh? I didn't dare try. Okay to get an identification from him? What's his last temperature reading, nurse? Up six tenths, doctor. Make it awful short. Okay. Go ahead. What's his name? Kowalski. Kowie Kowalski. What happened to him? <laughs> Watch this closely, Chubb. Is this your sidekick, Kowalski? Now wait. Be sure before you answer. Is this your partner? Listen, Kowalski. Kowalski, if you mean yes, just move your right hand. Is this your buddy? Ryan here.
Pioneer carried the 38. He shot O'Hara. You're a dirty liar. What are you trying to do, frame me? Shut up, you're in a hospital. Tell him the truth. Tell him I beat you up for bothering Rosie. Now you're trying to get even. Go on, tell him. Tell him, Howie. Tell him. Tell him you're lying. Tell him I wasn't the one. Howie. Howie. Did you see Steve working in his garage last no, night? No, I didn't. We had the Masons in playing bridge, and well, I just didn't get a chance I've been to... all the neighbors, and nobody saw him. Well, maybe he wasn't in the garage last Steve night. Steve was he... if he said he was. Oh, of course, dear, of course. And it must be terrible for you. Just awful, but I'm baking some cookies. Thank you, Mrs. Wells. Well, enough to have cops out there digging up my flowers and poking through Steve's shop without your messing everything up in here. I explained to your mother, this is authorization to... What are you looking for? A gun and about 5,000 in cash. Well, you're making a mistake because Steve had nothing to do with it. You see, we're not quite as sure about that as you are. Collect the otherwise. Which is Steve's room? Gun, if that's what you want. Uh, uh, just uh, the other way, if you please. I... Well, never point a gun at anyone unless you mean a shooting. Well? Uh, see what you mean. Oh, Nambu, Japanese. Souvenir? Mm -hmm. Not what I'm looking for. I want a Dixon belly gun, a 38. Oh, that's a shame. I'll go out and buy you one. Look, uh, Rosie. I'm just doing my job. It's a job the city pays me to do. I'm not paid to persecute people. On the other hand, I'm not paid to let killers get away. Facts. That's all I'm interested in. Just happens that facts have led me here to your home. But do you honestly think that Steve would... I don't know, Rosie. I just don't know, but believe me. I'll work just as hard to free him if I turn up anything in his favor as I will to send him up if he's guilty. But you know, Steve, do you really think that Feelings he... Feelings don't count in my racket, just evidence. All right, now the evidence is all against Steve. That's him. That's him, all right. He's the one who had the 38 shot the cop. You're crazy. I never saw you before in my life. The other guy pulled the cloth off this fella's face, and I got a good look at him. I'd know him anywhere. He's the one. How'd you know it was a 38? Well, I... That's what it said in the papers. What do you say? Well, I'm not sure. I didn't see him without the cloth on his face. I thought he had black hair like the other guy. Well, I'm not just sure. You're never sure about anything. Thanks a lot. Don't leave town. You'll be needed at the trial. I wouldn't think of it, Captain. Aren't you forgetting I'm out on bail? Okay, thanks. What'd you do with the gun, Ryan? Don't know anything about any gun. Five thousand bucks is a lot of dough. How'd you get rid of it? I spent a thousand on beer. Bought bubble gum with the rest. Take it easy, Steve. We're not playing games, you know, kid. Yeah, not much. You think it's a joke to kill a man? No, not even a cop. Don't like cops, huh? Oh, sure. I'm getting real attached to you guys. How long had you known Kowalski? That guy's lying in his teeth. Was lying. Die. Yeah. Now you'll never know. Now he can never tell you who it was. He told us who it was. It's a lie. He was lying. Why? Why should he lie? He was badly hurt and you ran out on him. No wonder he squealed. But I didn't. Go on about Kowalski. I knew Cowie since we were kids. He was always no good. Hanging around, always hanging around. Lately, he gets the idea that Rosie's his girl. Keeps bothering him, pestering her. I told him to go away. When was it you saw him last? That is, before you pulled his stick up. I didn't pull any stick up. Night before last, he came around, asking for Rosie. 
Marsh told him to stay away. I told him again. He got tough, so I laid a couple on him. Mm, fine. I've been waiting for this. We've had thousands of suspects in here, and every one of them has been framed, according to them. But what else? How he hated my guts. Holds out well, don't he? Tell us again what you did last night, kid. Got through work shortly after 6. Parked the truck in the alley back of the laundry. Walked home. Went in the house. Mom and sis were out of the show. Went out, worked in my shop till after 9. Anybody come around when you're in the shop? Any of the neighbors? Yeah, we know. We checked with the neighbors. None of them could say they saw you. All right. Now I'll tell you what happened. You swiped your own truck from behind the laundry. You picked up Kowalski. You pulled the stick up. You didn't figure on a cop butting in. You shot O'Hara. You made your getaway. Your partner was badly hurt, and you left him in the truck outside the doctor's office. You ditched the money in the gun, and then you went home. And that was your little program last night. How'd you guess it? And don't you think I was awful sharp? I used my own truck and my navy scarf with my initials on it. Then I'm sitting at home eating beans when you guys come in to pick me up. Just how dumb do you think I am? Awful dumb. Or awful smart. Maybe so smart you figured to make it so obvious it was you, we'd automatically eliminate you because we couldn't believe that anybody could be so stupid. Look, I want a confession. But I don't want a confession that'll be thrown out of court and foul up this case and let this monkey off with a couple of years. Only the gas chamber will satisfy me. And O'Hara. Now, let's start at the beginning and go all over this. What about the money? The truck? The gun? Just when you want to keep your head, you start pickling it. Duke, I can't help it. You thinking about that cop? Don't think about it. Cops ain't people. That kid, that Kowalski. They kicked off, and the cops are sold on Ryan. They made a pretzel out of him. We're fat if you keep your head, stick to your identification. Chasing kites all over the place. We'll be out there, get rid of them. Hello. Are you Miss Calhoun? Don't believe I've had the honor. I'm Steve Ryan's sister. I believe you identified him at the police station. Yes, I did see your picture in the paper. Uh, I came here to talk to you and to your friend, Miss Weston. Oh, she's not here. Well, uh, where can I find her? Oh, she's got a new job. Good operator, Marie. Carlton Hotel. She said both bandits had black hair. She was sure of it. Oh, Marie's never sure about anything. Besides, she passed out. But are you sure? Oh, I think so. Then you're not. Yes, I am. I saw him. I'd know him anywhere. I know you're wrong. My brother wouldn't do a thing like that. Maybe somebody that looked like him, but not my brother. You calling me a liar. What do you want to do? Convict an innocent boy? You're making a big mistake, Miss Calhoun. But you haven't got the courage to admit it. Listen, you. I know what I'm doing. I saw his face plain, and he's the one. Then you are a liar. Oh, you get out of here. You keep your hands off me. Do you hear?
you're a liar. with her, get her suspicions up. She probably figures you're trying to cover up something. Now I'll have to sidetrack her. Duke, I didn't give anything oh, away. Shut up. Pack some things you're gonna hide out for a while. What about the trial? You'll be on hand. Hurry up, be ready when I get back. Duke, where are you going? I'm gonna straighten out Marie. DA wants that gun. He says he's got a circle almost clean around the kid, and he only needs the gun to close it. I can't find the gun. We've tossed the Ryan house thoroughly. We dug up the backyard. We took the garage apart. There's no gun. Unless you want me to comb every vacant lot in town and drag the river. Well, get it out of Ryan. Yeah? He sticks to his story. You can't shake him. He can't prove anything he says is true, but he never buries it. I... I don't know, Mike. I'm beginning to think we've got the wrong suspect. Listen, boy, it's... it's elementary. The scarf. The truck is pal's dying declaration. That's worth several witnesses in any court. And Clara Calhoun, she's pretty positive. Yeah, she's a little too positive. Oh, now get this straight, Mickey. I'm not trying to eager beaver someone into the gas chamber. I knew O'Hara well, and so did you. And someone's got to pay for him, but that someone's got to be the guilty party. Exactly. And I'm beginning to get a little shaky on Ryan. Mm -hmm. To me, he's it. it. It adds up. What do you want? Photographs of the holdup? Why, this... His sister is pretty, isn't she? That's no lie. Now, wait, Mac. Don't jump to conclusions. I've just got a feeling that something's haywire. You turn over your dope to the DA's office. I need you on that Baxter bomb. That other witness, Marie Weston. She kept insisting that the killer had dark hair. You hear what I said about the Baxter case? Yeah, but look, Mac, two days. No, I need you too bad here. You can work on this when you're off duty if you want to. All right, I will. Thanks a lot, Captain. Don't mention it, Sergeant. And don't foul up the DA's case. He's very anxious to get a quick conviction. Thank you. Are you still here, dear? My, but you're patient. Well, I simply have to see Miss Weston. She didn't impress me as a reliable type when I hired her. Well, hello, Rosie. You looking for Marie Weston, too? Yeah. Well, she didn't come to work this morning. I've been waiting since the shop opened. That probably means she won't come in at all. Do you know where she lives? Yeah, I've been there. No dice. Drive you home? Oh, I wouldn't want to put you in any trouble. It's no trouble. It's on the way. I kind of like this. I'm glad you decided to let me take you home. Oh, you can come and see me anytime you want to. Just come out and search our house again. <laughs> Look, Rosie, I was just doing my job. Yes, I know. Men are so smug about duty. What about Steve? Of course, you could plant the gun in our yard and then dig it up again. I don't know what to think now. I'm not so sure that Steve's guilty. Are you serious? I couldn't take a joke at a time like this. I'm not joking, Rosie. Maybe I'll have some news for you soon. Then maybe I'll be glad to see you. Thanks for the lift. Hello, Rosa. Hello, Mom. Anything new? Oh, yes, there was a call. A Mr. Martin, at the Club Bombay, wants you to call him. Who is he, Rosa? Oh, I never heard of him. <laughs> Listen to this. You are not permitted to kill a woman who has injured you. But nothing forbids you to reflect that she is growing older every minute. <laughs> you are avenged 1,440 times a day. That's pretty good, eh, Wilma? Pick the book you love best, Ducky, and I'll see it's put in your coffin. How's the roulette going this evening? Crowded. 
Dame that lost the 900 and took the pills came around okay. Good. Give her back 100 for car fare. I could go to the coast for that. Don't want any squawks. You find Clara Calhoun yet? No. I'm opening a new bookie spot in Brainy Heights, and I could use Calhoun. She's a good operator. What's the matter, Gate Mouse? She give you the brush? Name is Duke. You petrify me. Grow up, sonny boy. You can't settle everything with a gun, you know. Some people you gotta get along with. Thought she was your baby face. Jacqueline, I don't like dames talking to me like that. Wilma's not a dame. Wilma's a lady. Aren't you, Wilma? Find Calhoun for me, Duke. I want to open next Monday. Okay, she'll probably show up in time for the trial. Where are you going, Sonny? Late with a dish. Certain things give me the creeps, like snakes and lizards and Duke Martin. Duke's an artist, Buttercup. And occasionally I, uh... I need an artist. Oh, Senor Martin, I was just gonna call you. Miss Rosa Ryan. Mr. Martin. What did you have to drink? I don't think I cared. Yes, you would. Bring the lady in Manhattan. See, si, Senor Martin. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Dance? No, I didn't come here to dance. You said you wanted this to talk to me. This is part of it, baby. You're beautiful, you know. Too beautiful. Is that why you asked me Don't to Don't interrupt. Come? Too beautiful to have a brother in the spot he's in. What do you know about my brother? How do you know about it? I read the papers. I also have other sources. I also don't like questions, even from someone as pretty as you. I'm sorry, I just... Okay. You know, I don't think your brother's guilty. It's my personal opinion, you understand. I just don't think he's the guy. Everybody else seems to think he is, except Mom and me. And me makes three, hmm? You know, in this business... Do you own this place? Manager. You know, in this racket, you meet a lot of characters. Some are good, some are bad. Some are right guys, some are wrong. Okay, you learn what they want you to learn. Sometimes you learn what they don't want you to learn. Okay. Character pulls a job. A lot of the guys may know about it, but the cops may never know about it. It goes around the grapevine, see? But it never gets upstairs. You know what I mean? Yes, I think I do. And you've uh, no idea where Miss Calhoun went? No, I haven't, sir. She left no forwarding address. She said that the holdup had distressed her so terribly she had to go away for a rest. She left this box here with me and said she'd come back for it later. Now, Mrs. Atkins, you won't say a word to anyone about my having been here. Oh, no, sir. Not a word to anyone. You know, landladies have to keep secrets, too, sometimes. Martin in? He is ill. But he's busy now, sir. Yeah. Too busy. Cigarette? Not right now, thanks. Got a tip on the holdup. Oh, please tell Shut up. Did you ever hunt gophers? Good target practice. Live in a hole in the ground. Very scared, always hiding out. Okay. 
go for folks his head out for a nibble of grass, make one little step, let a shadow fall, Psst. gone. You know what I mean? Okay. Same with this deal. Everything I tell you, keep it very quiet. If you don't, no gopher. I will, Mr. Martin. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't sit you without a reservation. There's my reservation. Hello, Duke. Hi. Well, Mr. Ferguson, I see you know Mr. Martin. Yeah. Our tracks cross from time to time. Several years ago, that was. How are things these days? On a cloud. What do you mean? Nothing. Mind if I sit down? Thanks. I'm uh, sorry, Miss Ryan, but business before pleasure. You know, it's too bad that you can't arrange a 48-hour day. Mm -hmm. A friend of yours has disappeared. Yeah, I got a lot of friends. Clara Calhoun. Yeah? I gotta find her. She's uh, a witness in her brother's trial. Yeah? Where is she? Here's a cop for you. Conversation means a lot of questions. How should I know? I gave her the brush about six months ago. What if I say you're wrong? That's your pitch. Tangle with the cops once and they never forget it. And they never let you forget it. I think you're right, Mr. Martin. Oh, sure. Everybody's good inside. We haven't got anything else to do, so we go out and find people to frame. It's true. He dug up our yard and searched our house to find something to hang Steve with. His scarf, his truck, he did everything he could to put Steve right where he is now. Why don't you leave me alone? Haven't you done enough harm? I had no idea you were here. I came here to see your friend. Now, you want me to take you home? What? Oh, well, I should say not. I'm enjoying myself here. Why don't you leave the lady alone? She's my guest. Go peddle your troubles to the fire department. What are you up to, Martin? You see? <sighs> okay. Rosie, if you need any rat poison in a hurry, let me know. <sighs> How do you like that guy? Know him well, huh? I ought to. He makes his living searching our house. Kind of goes for you, huh? Does he? You're a dame, aren't you? Please, I don't like that word. All right, gal. Maybe he does. That's his business. I'll uh, take that cigarette now. So you hate cops, huh? You bet I do. Maybe you do and maybe you don't. I ain't sure. Look, what do you want me to do? Go out and shoot one to prove it to you? Take it easy, Butch. That would only annoy them. He said something about Clara Calhoun. Was he right? Did she disappear? Can't you talk without asking questions? Sorry. How should I know? About that tip, I think I'll leave that up to you. That's the way it's got to be. Waiter. Thanks a lot, Duke. And call me the minute you find out anything. Sure, we got a date for tomorrow night, huh? We sure have. Hey, wait a minute. You better give me a phone number. Gladstone, 8001. 8001. And do your best, won't you, Duke? Sure, for you, baby, anything. hated you, and I had to keep his confidence. Are you dreaming? His kind never trusts anybody, not even themselves. He trusts me. Yeah? You don't know much about this guy. There's your pal. Nice record, huh? Now, will you stop playing with dynamite? If he ever turns He promised he'd help Steve. How's it gonna help Steve if we find you in a ditch some night? Look, Rosie, I don't want anything to happen to you. I... 
I'd do anything to help Steve, anything. I don't care what happens to me. Well, well I guess that puts us on opposite sides of the fence. Haven't we always been? Maybe so. I had some news for you tonight, but under the circumstances, I guess it had better wait. Good night, Rosie. Good night. She evidently held a purse in front of her, a last gesture of protection. Bullet went through it and through her. Did you get the slug? No, no bullet. No laundry marks on her clothing, no labels. How'd you get such a quick identification? FBI. She worked in a defense plant during the war. Her ankles were deeply creased, a piece of wire around one of them. She was weighted and thrown in the river. Fisherman's anchor broke the wire and up she came. Not much evidence to go on. No. Did you have a record? No record. She was a witness in the O'Hara case. I guess somebody didn't like her attitude. Kid, nerves. Bad. Duke, you don't love me no more, do you? Yeah, yeah, I love you. Why do you say that? You give me a bad time. Cracking up, drinking like a fish. People give me a bad time, I got an easier way of taking care of them. Duke, where's Marie? People shouldn't scream. Duke, I can't stand it here. I'm going nuts. Give me some decent clothes so I can... Yeah, so you can go to a bar and shoot your mouth off. I keep looking at these four walls. I keep thinking about that poor kid being framed. Maybe you'd rather I took the rap. No, dude, no. But you said it'd be easy. You said we'd get the money and go to Florida and... Look, the kid's as good as in the gas chamber. I got his nosy sister right where I want her and Ferguson running around in circles like a bloodhound. You got just one job to do. Pull yourself together for the trial so you don't go to pieces on the stand. But baby, I'll take you out of here soon. We'll go away together to South America. Just you and me in a wad of dough. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. I got just one big killing to do first. Jacqueline's got a bad Saturday night habit. The dough from the bookie shops and the take from the gambling at the club, he counts in his office every Saturday night. Happy guy. 30, 40 grand, gets on my mind. Think what that would mean in South America. No, Duke, no. You don't like this big idea. It'd only mean more trouble. You don't like this big idea. Okay, Duke. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Food, no liquor. I gotta get back to the club. Don't call me there no more. you're doing, ruining my cake. It isn't for you anyway. Sometimes people put guns in cakes. Oh, stupid. Who could eat a cake with a gun in it? Okay, lady. Hello, Mom. Hi, Rosie. Hello, Steve. Well, I'll be going, Steve. If you think of anything new, just have the jailer call me. Stevie, are you all right? Sure. What did he want? Oh, uh, he was giving me that old business about being on my side. I think he is, Steve. No, it's a trick they use. They play up to you and then try to find out things to use against you. I know, but this time I, I think he's really on our side. And he's the only one around here who is. It's, it's, you aren't falling for that cop, are you? Here's the dope you want on Clara Calhoun. That's where she's living now. Well, thanks, Jeb. That's swell. Uh... Look, what's the idea of all this homework? Don't you ever have any fun? Calhoun told her story. She'll tell it in court. I don't believe her story. Why did she move to a hideout? Oh, the poor.
poor kid's just shy. She hates publicity. Yeah, I know. That's what she told her landlady. I don't believe that either. Duke Martin ever shown up at this new address? Nobody's ever seen him. What makes you think that she's mixed up with Duke? No dame keeps a framed picture of a guy unless she's carrying a torch for him. If that's a setup, what she taught you to what she knows about him? You don't think they trust each other, do you? No, it's my guess they both know Steve Ryan didn't kill O'Hara. Now's the time to turn the heat on. That's uh, elementary. Yeah. 740 Marine Avenue. Right. You gave her the brush off six months ago, huh? Gave who the brush off? Clara Calhoun. Make up with her again? You still working on that pitch? This is where she lives. You've been here before. I was glad to know she's still alive. If we find her in the river like we did Marie, we'll know who to get in touch with. All right, driver, let's go. find out you was here. What copper? Now don't give me that. I met him coming out of the building. What did you tell him? I didn't see anyone. There was no copper here. Haven't you learned not to lie to me? Duke, I swear to you, I'm not lying. I don't know who you're talking about. Mickey Ferguson, the guy in the O'Hara case. Why did he come here if it wasn't to see you? But he didn't see me. How did he know you was here if you didn't tip him off? Oh, he could have tailed you, couldn't he? Nobody tails me. Not tonight, maybe, but some other time. I don't know how he found out, but I know I didn't tell him nothing. How do I know you're telling the truth? I am, Duke, I am. Believe me, I wouldn't cross you. Haven't I proved that? Haven't I shown how much I love you? Don't give me that love stuff. What if he does know where I am? I gotta show up at the trial, don't I? Yeah. What can you do about that? I don't know yet. When I make up my mind, you'll hear from me. you want? Haven't you caused me enough trouble? Get out of here. You better listen to me first. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. A lot of crust you've got. Look, I'm uh, sorry if I got you in bed with Duke. But it's my guess all you ever got from that guy is trouble. If you stick to him, that's all you'll ever get till the payoff comes. And that won't be pretty. Why don't you mind your own business? I think you've been lying about the guy who shot O'Hara. 
But I'd rather hear you lie some more at the trial than not to show off at all. What do you mean? You can call me anytime you want to. I'm in the phone book. <laughs> call you? If you don't get me at the apartment, you might try this number. Gladstone 8001. Keep it. Oh, they, uh... They found Marie in the river. She'd been shot. I saw her at the morgue. I hate to see that happen to you. Duke, why don't you tell me this surprise? Always got the eagers, ain't you? When those monkeys got a home. Hey, you were the fingers. Go home. Well, Mr. Martin, I haven't finished playing the request. Go home. Sorry, kids. After closing. Okay, hey, Wino. Tell the lady. I takes the truck from the alley, picks up Kowalski. Name? Monica's Cowie. He has the Navy scarves. We go to Clara's joint, back door. Cowie has the shotgun, me to Dixon, 38. We go in, Clara's counting the dough. We throw down our guns on her and the other one. Name? Marie. Cowie checks the front. I take the bookie dough. Marie screams. I hear the shotgun go off, poke my head around. There's a copper at the front door. He shoots Cowie. I plug the cop. Then we make the getaway. Cowie's hurt bad. I ditch him and the truck in front of a doc's home. Gun. I pitched that in a drink. Dough. The dough I spent. He's the one. Oh, Duke, this is wonderful. Sounds great, don't it? You don't know what this means to me. Call the police, the DA, right away. Wait a minute, baby. This is gonna cost you a little dough. Why? Oh, I'll get it on my insurance. 300 bucks. Took a lot of time and effort to dig him up. Okay, okay, but call the police. Take it easy, baby. Here's the pitch. Meet me here tomorrow night late. We pick up Wino. Go down to the Daily Star and you turn him in. The paper's got a great Sunday morning spread. Accused kid sister finds the real killer. Sets her brother free and makes a sucker out of the cops. Yes, but why can't we call them now? Take it easy, Butch. A few things I have to think over first. And keep this to yourself. Or no gopher, remember? Here, bring my car around front. I'll drive you home. Duke, I don't want nothing to go haywire and the cops pin this on me for real. How can they? You were in Kansas City. You got a 14-carat proof. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Duke, but... I don't get this whole deal. You don't have to. Go down to the station, turn yourself in. The cops give you three days and set you free, and you got 50 bucks. Enough to buy yourself a carload of wine. 50 leaves. And yeah, I don't cross me. I'm playing a big joke on this dame, giving her a fancy runaround. Duke, who pulled that Calhoun heist? The kid the cops got on ice, her brother, Steve Ryan. boyfriend in this morning. Mr. Martin? Yeah. Don't worry. We turned him loose again. Couldn't get anything out of him about Clara Calhoun. We uh, didn't want to keep you two apart. Thanks. How come him to take such a sudden interest in you anyway? Well, anything strange in that? I don't know. Where will you be, dear? Club Bombay, I think. See you later. Who is this Mr. Martin? He's the kind they build jails for. Clara.
Beta 01. Deposit 10 cents for five minutes, please. Hello. Hello, this is Clara Calhoun. I've been thinking about what you said the other night at my apartment. I was lying about what happened at the hold up. Marie was right. Both bandits had black hair. Will you sign a statement to that effect? Yeah. I can't let that kid go to the gas chamber. All right, we'll give you protection then. Where are you now? I'm phoning from the drugstore in the corner. Can you meet me at my apartment? Hello? Hello? Operator, I've been cut off. I was talking to Gladstone, 8001. Yes, I know. Where shall I meet you? Your apartment. All right, I'll be there as soon as I can make it. 20 minutes. Okay. Anybody got a phone? Yes, I have. Duke? Yeah. Everybody gone home? Yeah. Wilma's gone too, huh? Yes. Where you been? Holding parachutes. Hmm. Funny man, eh? Big take, huh? Best in weeks. That big handicap was made in heaven. Where's Rosie? Said she'd be back in 20 minutes. Said she had a date with you. How long got she go? About 15 minutes. Did I ever tell you about the guy I killed in Detroit? No. Worked for him. Didn't treat me right. We were just talking like this, like you and me are. You know? Take a look. Bullet on the left killed O'Hara, on the right Calhoun. Same gun. Same perfume. Here, keep this as evidence. Call McTaggart, will you, Doc? I want a raiding squad. Club Bombay.
we better hurry and pick up that man and get to the newspaper. Where have you been? Home to get the money in my coat. That's your story. What about Calhoun? She had your phone number. I heard her talking to you. Duke, what's the matter with you? Double cross me, huh? Nobody makes a sucker out of me. your gun and come on out. Ferguson, when do you boys call an ambulance? Hello, Mac. Oh, uh, there's your guy who killed O'Hara. Here he is. Hi, Mom. Gee, it's good to be home. Welcome home, Steve. Come on into the kitchen, everybody. We're having a party. Isn't it wonderful to have him home again? Well, come on. Wait a minute. I want to know something first. Did you change your mind about cops just a little? Well, I suppose you have to make a living somehow. Yes, I, I think I've changed my mind. 